colors and the movement. There's a spiritual element, I think. Somehow it, it actually just, it just, it spoke to me. One thing that interests me about uh, Nessus Carpoli's painting is that it's old school with some new school touches. A basically European expression with the localized color in its flowing abstraction. For me, getting this idea, I have two ways. One way is taking my brush or taking my fingers directly to the paint. I didn't know in the first place what I'm going to do. But as, as soon as I start to touch the canvas, immediately my ideas, they crystallize in my mind. I start to have more and more and more uh, everything, even the details, what I'm going to do. And this becomes stronger, inspiration comes, more energy comes, and you start to create all of these things. This is the one way. The other way is I have a lot of sketches every day I do, beside of my painting, drawing, I have a lot of hundred thousand of sketches. In some point I take some of this sketch and I develop like abstract or realistic art. This, this is kind of more rational. So what we have here is a, uh, a confluence of uh, sources uh, speaking to the very old, the recently historic, and the contemporary. The contemporary, uh, by the way, manifests itself in the uh, brightness, the boldness, the, uh, the playfulness of the colors. You have to remember that I, I was training with realistic art for many years and come to the point and start to become more abstract artist. But even then, when I become abstract, I didn't stop paint realistic art. And I think this is part of me. I'm Gemini, you know. I have two person in me. One is realistic artist, another is abstract artist. And usually after time and painting, painting, instead of to relax, let's say, I just turn and start to do realistic art for a while.